Hello, and welcome to episode 11 of D Nice Knits. My name is Denise, and you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as DNice515. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank new and returning viewers for coming um, by and spending about 20 minutes of your time with me. I like yarn, and I hope you like yarn, and we'll just talk about yarn together. Um, <laughs> so today I have FOs to talk about, whips, um, new things, and future knitting. It's a little, it's supposed to rain in a little bit, so it's very cloudy. So if my picture's off, I watched it and I, I don't think it looks off, but it, if the colors are off, that's why. But I didn't want to put off um, recording for like another week because it's supposed to rain all week long. So I'm just going to record today and if the lighting's off, you watch next time and it'll be better. Okay. Okay. All right. So first of all, I'll start where I always start with socks. So I finished, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I finished my Helical Monster Socks. Um, so this is Helix Knitting. It's three different scraps and simply, nope, Serenity Sock. What's her name? Deborah Norville Premier Yarn Serenity Sock in the navy colorway. And then I got two scraps from Barbara of the Knitting I Love podcast and another scrap from Marta. And this one is, so it's Drop Fable, is like this gray one. And then the bright blue one, I don't know what it is. And the black one is a sock and wool, because I wrote it down. And then this is the color navy and the Premier Serenity sock. And so I did my regular formula, which is 60 stitches. I start with Judy's Magic Cast On with 12 stitches and then 60 stitches. And then 65 rows and then the fish lips kiss heel and then I think I did 50 rounds up and then I did 12 12 rows of ribbing and Jenny's stretchy bind off on a size 5 because if I do the stretchy bind off on the size what do I use 2.5 millimeter needles it's too tight to go over my heel and I feel like I'm gonna pop the bind off so I do the bind off in a in, with a five, size 5 DPN needle even though I don't use DPNs when I first started knitting socks, I tried to learn on DPNs from a book from the library and it was like with worsted weight yarn and size five DPNs and that didn't stick. But um, Magic Loop stuck for a little bit and then I found nine inch circular needles, which is what I use now. Um, I only do the toe Magic Loop and then the rest I do with the nine inch circs. Um, and then I use, oh, here's the sun. <laughs> and then I use, um, light bulb stitch markers to mark every 10 rows. And usually I tried to match, but I didn't. And this is where I was, I think the last time I podcast on this sock. And this one I think was almost done. I was here on this one. And then I put a marker because I have a mistake. I forgot to carry over the blue. So you can see there's like a, a big line where it goes gray, black, gray. And then it's like, and then you can see right here is a mess up. Because you're not supposed to be this, like little demarcation is where I my ten, I don't tension well when I switch um, colors, so that's why you see a little line here, and yeah, there's a, a little line there. But I'm sure when I wear it, it'll be fine. But I didn't notice that mess up until I took pictures of it, and then I was like, that looks weird. Why is it like that? Because I messed up. Meh. So then my other um, finished project. I knit a lot this week, but I knit on different things. Like I didn't, I only finished two things in two weeks where I usually finish more than that. Um, and I've been working on a secret project pretty exclusively because I want to finish it. Um, and I found out that if I crochet for 20 minutes and then I take like a five minute break and knit on something or just take a five minute break, which I should do, I should take like breaks when I knit and crochet, that it doesn't bother me as much. If I crochet like nonstop for 45 minutes, an hour, my hand hurts so bad. So now if I crochet for 20 minutes, I'll take a break. And then I crochet for 20 minutes and I take a break and I can crochet for longer. Just, I should know that already, but now I know. So I'm crocheting much longer and I feel like crochet goes so, so much quicker than knitting when it's a blanket. Um, so my second finished project is my daughter. My heart is full. My daughter asked me for, I made her socks two years ago and last year she only wore them once to go um outside in the snow with her dad and she didn't wear them again <laughs> and then this year I don't know she got cold one day and she said could I wear the socks you made me and I was like yes <laughs> and then she asked for more socks 
so my heart is full so um she has for rainbow socks and um i had this yarn which is four seasons hot socks stripes say that and i got this off of hotyarns.com which has european yarn this is from germany and they have european yarn and i think the shipping is like three dollars or four four dollars four dollars so it's hotyarns.com so they have opal and regia and they have good prices um and they have discount yarn so this one i think was like ten dollars for the skein and then i bought them in a pack like i bought i think fifty dollars worth of yarn and it was free shipping for 50 just like knit picks does so this is i made her tube socks because i only had 40 grams of this yarn and i had just a little bit left I think it was 35 grams of this yarn. I'll weigh it when, when I'm done. Um, so I made these for her and I started with Judy, Judy's Magic Cast On and I went up to 48 stitches because the ones I made her before had 48 stitches. And then I did ribbing on the front, but I did, I think it's four stitches and one purl. And then I, I, I do it as a broken rip. So it'll be three and then one purl, three and then one purl. And then on the next round, I did just a knit stitch. So it's it's not as pulled in as regular ribbing, but it still adds a little bit more stretch, which I'll talk about in a second. So they fit her, they go past her heel. Oh, and I did tube socks because I, she's gonna grow and I, I don't wanna fuss with the heel or whatever. So they'll fit her as long as they fit her and that's fine. Maybe I'll repurpose the yarn for something else. But so yeah, so she likes them. They're kind of rainbowy. They're missing yellow and purple but this is the closest I had to a rainbow. And who knows if she'll wear these, but she has asked for them. So I'm glad that I can show you guys and now I can sew in the ends and give it to her. Um, and once again, I use the the stitch markers to do every 10 rounds so that they're the same. And I think I did 50 rounds and then 20 of a rib because I, I did it until I thought I was gonna run out of yarn. So that's that one. So now I'll go into my works in progress because I am making her um, is a free, it's called the, I think it's just kids tube socks pattern by Jane Richmond. Yes. And this one I did two pattern. So it's on 2.75 needles, a US two. And, um, I, and then it's a, like measure your kid's foot. So I measured her foot. So this is 40 stitches, um, on, yeah, 40 stitches on the 2.75 needle. And then I did a hundred rounds and then 12 ribbing even though the pattern I think said, I think 10 ribbing, yes. But the pattern said seven ribbing, but I did 10. And these don't fit her as well. And I think because um, it doesn't have the ribbing and the ribbing like stretches over her heel more. So they, they kind of get stuck on her heel when we were trying to take it off. <laughs> but she likes them and they're done. So I'm not gonna start over again and do it with the ribbing. Um, and these were so much quicker. But these are on a 2.25 and they're 48 stitches, yes. And I feel like it stretched better. So when, when I do this again, so I have the second one too. This is opal yarn, opal pan, panorama in the yoga colorway. And so I'm almost done. Like I have, I think 10 more rounds to go before I get to the ribbing. So I'm almost done because it's only 40 stitches and I do it magic loop until there's quite a bit and then I switch to the circular needles even though it stretches it out while it's on the needles but as you can see it's fine um so yeah so these are almost done really really quick so then I was like oh I'm almost done with those let me start she she asked for blue ones and I was like oh I have lots of blue yarn mommy loves blue um but then she's like I don't want any stripes and I was like oh no I don't think I have any <laughs> sock yarn with no stripes <laughs> because I don't know I feel like um self-striping yarn or self-patterning yarn goes faster and it's like interesting to have different colors but she said she didn't want any stripes so I was like okay mommy we'll go through um her stash and I'll find so I did so I found this this is from AC Moore it's a studio sample and it's 50 no yes 50% wool 20% nylon no, sorry, 60% wool, 20% nylon, 20% acrylic, which I thought nylon and acrylic was the same thing, but whatever. So this is a dollar. Um, so I started on her socks and I'm following the tube, tube sock pattern again. And I did it again on the 2.75 needles, but this yarn is thinner than the opal yarn. 
So you can kind of like see through the sock a little bit, but I'm not starting over again. It is what it is. So I'm doing the, the 48 stitches on the 2.75 and I'm doing a ribbing again, just the broken rib again. And I think this is a three by one rib, broken rib. And then I was knitting and I came to this. I don't know what that is, but I stopped knitting and I'm just gonna cut it off and go from there. So that's that. It's another work in progress. And then I have three more work in progress. I don't know. So then I have um, knitting that I keep in my purse for like emergencies. <laughs> um, so this is socks. I made another one of these, I think like two months ago, or three months ago. And I don't know where the other sock is. I have no idea. So this is um, just another sock yarn from AC Moore, it's a Nicole Studio sample. But this one is 100% acrylic because my best friend says she's allergic to wool or she finds wool scratchy. So I make her acrylic socks, which also bother her too. So I don't know. And the, the first sock I made did not have pooling. You see, it's pooling. And this one does. So I don't know if my, I think I was just, if my tension changed or I don't know. So I don't like them as much. So they're my purse knitting and they're like, if I'm waiting in line for something or if I forget my other knitting, I'll knit on that. And then my next is a cowl that I'm making. This is called the copycat cowl and it's out of yarn that I got from a local yarn shop that closed. And I was having a lot of trouble finding a pattern for this yarn because it was pooling. And I mentioned before, I think I just talked about it, that I don't really enjoy pooling very much and it's pooling a little bit up here. Hmm. I don't like that. Nope, 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 nope. But it didn't pull that much in the other um, rounds. So it is what it is. It's fine. It, and I'm almost done. Like I have just like a little bit of yarn left. And I put a stitch marker because I messed up. <laughs> so this, this pattern's free. It's really easy. But it does um, like seven rounds of purling. And then a knit purl, knit purl. And then knit... No, sorry. Yeah, knit purl for six rounds and then seven rounds of purling. And I just switched it up. I did seven rounds of rib. And then when I wear it, I'll just wear it inside out. So I did seven rounds of, of, of stockinette because seven rounds of knitting is I'm faster at knitting than purling. So, but this round right here, I only did five rows of knit one purl one. <laughs> so I messed up, but that's okay. Nobody's going to know but me. So this one has six and this one has seven. This is five and then six, seven, and then six, and then I'm on seven. And you, it's really simple pattern, and I don't know how I mess, well, I know how I mess it up. I mess up simple patterns all the time. Um, if I have to count past three or four, that's it. So this is almost done. Oh, and I have a Katrinkles stitch marker on there. And I signed up for Katrinkles um, advent calendar, and I'm very excited. I kind of pressured her into doing it, so I'm very excited that I got it. <laughs> and I love Christmas everything, which I'll talk about again. Um, so that's this pattern. Pattern project. And then I have one more, which is the uh, charity blanket I'm making for the Linus project. And this is big. And so I was, where was I? I put a stitch marker. I was here, this popcorn stitch marker. I was here the last time I podcast and I did all this and I am doing this, this, oh, this is Bernat, Bernat blanket in the country blue and red colorway, I guess. I don't know what this one is because this didn't have ball band. Um, so I've only worked on this at the knitting group that I go to because it kind of hurts my hands a little bit. And I use the, it's called the in a wink blanket pattern, but instead What's his name? Stephen West has the garter swish. So you put in, I put an eye cord edging on the side because I like the way that looks with the garter blanket. Instead of having like the garter bumps at the sides, I do an eye cord edging. And it's really easy. You just slip three stitches in front at the end of your row. And then the beginning of the row, you knit those three stitches. So I like it a lot. And so like, yeah, so you can see the um, eye cord edging on this side. And I have just blue left. So when I finish the red, I only have a little bit of the red left. I'm in the middle of a row. Oh no, I'm at the end of a row. So I have a little bit of the red left and then I'll switch to the blue. So that's that. <sighs> I have a lot of work in progress and I'm talking way more than I thought I would today. 
So I'm sorry for the people that like the short episodes. This is going to be like 20 minutes. So now I can talk about new things. And so I was on, I was on a yarn diet. Um, and I didn't buy yarn for nine months, which is really good for me because, um, yeah, just is. <laughs> I'm trying to get all my yarn to fit in a 30 gallon tote and they don't know. I, I have them in a box and in, in bags and it just not yet, but I will get there. Um, so for, for my surprise, yeah, my surprise project, I bought yarn for that because I didn't have the yarn that I needed for that. So I bought the yarn for that, which I will show you when it's done and it's almost done. I'm very excited about that. Um, <laughs> and then my friend Sarah, and it wouldn't be a podcast if I didn't mention my knitting group or Sarah from my knitting group, told me, I think three weeks ago, I think three weeks ago, that um, Joanne Fabrics was having 25% all 25% off all their clearance yarn. And then I saw on the Quirky Monday podcast that um, Joanne Fabric isn't going to sell Premier Serenity Sock anymore, which makes me sad because it's a really affordable yarn and it's a nice yarn. And I used the white to dye yarn um, last year. I'll put a picture. Last year I dye, I used the white. And it's only 50 grams, so I don't feel like I'm wasting like a 100 gram ball of yarn. Um, on an experiment because dyeing with food color is just an experiment but so I'm kind of sad about that so she when I found that out I was like oh maybe I should when Sarah told me I was like no I'm on a yard diet I just bought yarn for a project that I wasn't planning on buying um I'm not going and I didn't last I lasted three weeks <laughs> um only because I thought that I could find some serenity sock and I did sorry before my daughter asked for blue yarn um I saw this and you're going to be like, if those people that watched from the beginning, I made um, socks from my mother-in-law, yes, out of this yarn, which was recycled from a project that I made with lace um, and I didn't like. So I made socks out of this. So I think I have another ball of this. So I'm going to make her some stripey blue and green um, tube socks and me socks match because I'm that mom that likes I'm corny. Um, and then this, oh, and this was on sale. It was $2.25. And I was searching <laughs> for more, but I'm sure other people found the Serenity socks before me because they've been on sale and discontinued or clearanced out for a while now, I think, at the Joann's. And I'm, yeah, so I don't think Joann's is going to sell any Premier yarns anymore. Um, I know that AC Moore sells some of them, like the cakes, because um, I had some from there. Um, but they're not selling the Serenity sock. And I really like the Serenity sock, so I'm kind of sad about it. But it is what it is. I'll be able to find more yarn. I don't think it'll be a problem. And then I also saw this, and there's two of them. And this one's seen better days. But it's so cute. Of course, it's a cake yarn and it's blue. Uh, duh. And so they had two, and I really liked them. And this was a dollar eighty-four. So I was like, I have to, I have to, I have to. So those three things of yarn were like $5.50 or something, $5.75 or something. So I did it. I bought yarn. And then, so that will probably be a future project. I want to make, I think, another cowl out of this, but for myself. Not that I need any more blankets, <laughs> any more scarves, but whatever. Um, and then I did a swap with, oh my God, I forget her name. So a while ago, I posted on Instagram that I had leftovers from all my socks. And I usually use like commercial yarns. I don't usually use like indie dyed yarns. I think I had like three indie dyed yarns. Um, and I had, most of my scraps were over 30, 30 grams. So I was like, can somebody swap with me? <laughs> so I swapped 20 gram minis with um, somebody on Instagram. And I will put her name here because I don't remember but I follow her because she makes really pretty socks and hers I felt bad are mostly indie dyed yarn but she said it was fine so I got I'm gonna take them out though she sent me stitch markers and um a cedar ball to put with my socks I guess and then I'm gonna dump all this yarn and these like are some of them are colors that I don't usually buy so I'm really excited about that there's some blue obviously but look at this one this one is a dragon horde fiber yarn and this one she didn't know what it was and there's hazel knits look at how pretty and um madeline tosh and this is um i think this is a she wrote it down for me this is a i 
don't know. Oh, this is Malabrigo. This is Mad Madeline Tosh. Look at that orange. Like, I never use orange, but it's pretty. Oh, and then there's a Lion Brand and this really pretty purple called Grape Soda. Oh, and this is Knit Picks. Knit Picks. And this is Expression Fiber Arts. And she didn't know what this was, right? Yeah. So those are all my new things. So we swapped and I'm really excited to put these in my blankets or to do some scrappy socks with them. I don't know. I'll probably put them in my blankets that I make my scrappy yarn blankets because a lot of these are colors that I don't use like this yellow and this orange. This color obviously I use in blue. Look at that. Pretty blue. Okay. Talking a lot. So then I have future projects. So um, I follow a lot of podcasts. I watch a lot of podcasts. I binge project podcasts like people binge TV. Um, I think I've said that before. Like I don't watch a lot of Netflix or or but Christmas is coming. So I watched the Stranded podcast with Amy Florence. And then like there's like 14,000 people that watch it too. Um, and two years ago, three years ago, she did a festive sock along where she's trying to have 24 pairs of socks for Advent. So she'll have a pair of socks every day. And so, of course, I did the same thing. But I don't have a sock machine and I don't knit very quickly. And I knit not just socks. So I think right now I have... I did two in Christmas in July, so right now I have nine pairs of Christmas socks and I want to do at least two more, maybe three. Um, so I went on wool, woolwarehouse.com and I was looking for West Yorkshire Spinners does a Christmas sock every year. And they had it and I procrastinated and now it's sold out. So I'm waiting for it to come back and then I will buy more yarn. <laughs> but this, um, yeah, it's woolwarehouse.com co no yes dot co dot uk and they have really good prices on opal yarns and reggia yarns and um west york west york sure spinners yarn i think it's like nine dollars um and the shipping's four dollars yes four dollars four pounds so i think it's like five six dollars u.s shipping which is not bad um so when those come in i'll be ordering more yarn <laughs> but it's christmas yarn so it's different it, do it doesn't count Right, right, okay. And so, so um, the festive socks al sock along starts October 1st, and today is October 8th. Um, so I am w late because I wanted to record first before <laughs> I started this. So I have my little Christmas um, project bag, which I got on eBay, I think, or AliExpress, one or the other. So I like it, it's cute. It costs like 75 cents. And then I have Knit Picks yarn, which I ordered last year. And I didn't even open the box until a week ago. <laughs> because I have so much yarn, I didn't need to open the box until a week ago. <sighs> um, so I bought Knit Picks and this is the Stroll Tweed. Yes, Stroll Tweed? Yes, Stroll Tweed in the Gar Garnet Heather colorway. And the... Oh gosh, Sakona Heather? Sorry, I don't know. So it's green and red. And I'm going to cut 15 grams out of both of them and use the toes, heels, and cuffs for because I've measured before. And to do a toe, I think I use three grams each toe. And to do a heel, I think it's four grams each toe. So I'm going to cut 15 grams or 16 grams out of both and then do the inverse. So I'll do green heels and toes and cuffs with red and then red heels and toes and cuffs with the green and do them in tangent and yarn management trouble. So I have the needles ready. I'm ready to start these and I will start them probably tomorrow, maybe today, who knows. I wanna finish that cowl first and then I'll get to that. So that's my future knitting. And I have another um, Regia sock yarn that's like blue and sparkly and I think that's kind of Christmassy because it's like Winter Wonderland, Jack Frost kind of color. Um, so yeah, so that's my next Christmas sock. So I plan to do maybe two socks before Christmas and then when I get the West Yorkshire Spinners, I usually wear my West Yorkshire Spinner of that year on Christmas Day. <laughs> God, I'm so crazy. Like why do we make these rules for ourselves? But that's what I'm doing and that's what I want because I wanna be like the cool kids and have Christmas socks. I'm not cool though. 
whatever. Anyways, I'm just rambling, sorry. So that's all, that was a lot. I'm sorry, it's like 25 minutes and I usually try to keep my episodes under 20 minutes, but I've been knitting a lot because it got cooler, yay. Summer is gone, winter is coming, eh. But Hallmark movies are coming and I love Hallmark movies. So you may get reviews for Hallmark movies. If that's something you want, let me know because I love Hallmark movies and I watch them all. Yes. And if you didn't know, there's a Hallmark watch list, check list, watch checklist app where you can remind yourself when certain movies are coming on. Yeah. So I do that too. So it's on my calendar on my phone. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Oh my God. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. And I hope you have a good week. Uh, that's all. Bye.